Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. So in this video we'll be talking about else if, if, and else statements. So these conditional statements allow us to essentially check to see if a condition is true and if that condition is true then it will run the block of code but if the condition is false then it's not going to do anything. It might do something if we make it do something else if the statement is false but that's basically how else if and if and else statements work. They're pretty useful in JavaScript because they allow us to check if a condition is true. If it's true then it can do something. If it doesn't meet the condition then it's not going to do anything. So this is sort of like the basic fundamental skill you need to know in JavaScript. I have a few examples to show you. So I created a button, some inputs, and some variables and functions. So let's start with our first one. So we gave an event listener to our button and it will listen for a click event and when we click on the button then it's going to do whatever we type in here so if so if we did if input equals an empty string then it's going to console.log hello person else it's going to console hi input so it's going to console.log hi and then our name because if we don't pass in a string I meant pass in a value then it's not going to know what to call us so it'll just say hello person so let's test it out I'm going to open up my console and just refresh and make sure I get rid of this I'll explain what those are in a minute but for now we're going to do this function so if we just hit the button it's just going to say hello person but if we entered in something like our name it's going to say hi and then our name which is Kenny so that's how this function works. So if we don't type in anything, it's just going to say hello person. But if we type in something to the input, it's going to say hi and then whatever we typed in. So even if I did this, just a bunch of random characters, it's going to say that. So that's basically how that works. And now we can move on to our next function. This one I called it conditional and gave it two parameters, x and y. And inside of this, I created a variable to, which is called sum, and I set it to x plus y. So if we entered in 10 and 10, then sum would be equal to 20. And it's going to check to see if sum is greater than 10. So if it's greater than 10, then it's going to return true. But if it's less than 10, this else statement right here is going to be triggered. So it's going to return the sum is less than 10. Oh, and also I've, I should have shown you guys how to write if statements in JavaScript. So let's create a function together. So I'm going to call this one function, and I'll just give it a name of my function since I'm not very creative. And then to create if statements, you have to start with the if keyword, a set of parentheses, and a set of curly braces. So inside of the parentheses, we're going to type our condition, and inside the curly braces, it's going to it's going to store the code to run so code to run if statement is true so basically if this statement is true then it's going to run whatever we typed into the curly braces anyways those are just template codes I'm gonna get rid of that now so now we're gonna say if name equals equals Kenny then it's gonna say console.log hello Kenny how are you today or something like that. You can make it say whatever you want. And then else if name equals equals Danny, it's going to say console.log. Hello, Danny. So if this statement right here is false, then it's automatically going to move on to the next statement. And if this statement is false as well, it's just going to keep moving down until it finally finds a statement that actually comes out as true. So else if name equals equals nothing or just an empty string then it's going to say console.log hello nothing and then else it's just going to say console.log hello stranger hello random person so basically this last statement is going to be triggered if none of these three if and else if statements are true so if none of these are activated then this has to be activated so now if we try doing my function well first we have to console.log it so we can do console.log and then the name of the function and a set of parentheses and in here I should have given this 
function a parameter of name and in here I'll just pass in a string which will be our name first I'm gonna pass in Kenny and see what happens so now if we check our console we should see that it says hello Kenny how are you today because name is equal to Kenny so this if statement right here is going to be triggered now let's try changing this to Danny now it's gonna output hello Danny and if we just left it blank like that it's just gonna say hello nothing because we didn't pass in anything and if I just left it blank like this it's going to say hello random person because we didn't even pass in a string or any quotes at all and that's basically how if statements work I hope you guys were able to understand what I was explaining to you if not you can post your questions in the comments down below and if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you again in my next video